For Marcelo Rios, it all comes down to today. His hustling, gritty style has brought him to the brink of the number one ranking in the world. And only one man stands in his way. But should Rios win today, when the rankings come out tomorrow, the Pete Sampras streak of 102 consecutive weeks at number one will be over, and Marcelo Rios will be the new number one player in the world. So I'm just guessing that this is uh, the greatest moment of your whole life, huh? Well, what do you think, man? It's been number one in the world with this beating Andre. That was he was number one before, and, and winning two tournaments in a row with all the players. Things I can't ask for more. Man. What was it like in, with this remarkable atmosphere? It's like Davis Cup out here. Yeah, it's really great. It's like all this public coming here to, with me all the week, support me, and more in the final. Came a lot of chillings to see this match, and, and well, thanks to everybody. champion and with tonight's victory at the very least he will become world number one on August the 18th. The second man to take the crown as the ATP World Tour year-end number one was Jimmy Connors. In, in the 70s, he was unbeatable. But in 74, he lost two matches. Who managed the feat, an astounding five times, in a row from 1974 to 1978. He was just a, just a beast. Looking back, I wanted to, to be a tennis player. I wanted to be a tennis pro. I wanted to come out and play the US Open and play Wimbledon. And then, you know, you get a little older, then you want to win them, and, and, and then your career takes off. In his breakthrough season of 74, the American became the first man to win three majors in the same year since Rod Laver. When you went out there, you knew that um, he was going to throw everything he had at you, and that was great. I loved that, and I said, all right, let's get, let's get at it. Jimmy Connors, a competitor who, in his own words, hated to lose more than he loved to win. 
When I walked out onto the court, I, I, was, I was prepared every single time and, and gave it everything I had. You know, never at any time was I unprepared and uh, willing to let anything go. And that's it, we have a new champion. Number one, what a year for the American. opportunities at Wimbledon before he won one. That's a great shot. And he has a break point here. First game of the second set. Third and four. Sapin finds 
has his range. Difficulty really to accept that there has to be a loser in a match like this, but perhaps appropriate the man who tomorrow is going to be number one in the world in the entry system ranking has won this match. The youngest ever player of number one in the world. Sensational. to be outdone with what Ferrero and Ivanisevic. Stop. Yes, Glenn here sure. is the world number one. Two sets to love. And fitting that it should Seven end five, with a winning six two. This reception. Gets the trophy from Jeff Pollard. Right, and congratulations. You didn't want to think about it, you didn't want to talk about it while you were trying to achieve it. Now you've got it right there in your hand. Yeah, you can talk about it now. Thank you. I want you to talk about it. No, it's. Uh... Yeah, it's an unbelievable feeling. Um, you know, I, I didn't want to play Pat tonight. Um, you know, he's probably my best mate on the tour, and you know, it's extremely hard to come out here and you know play for everything, and then you know to know that you have this on the line as well, and you know everything had gone my way this whole week with all the matchups. It's you know incredible, and you know for me to do it at the age of 20 and uh, to do it in Australia, <laughs> you know, you couldn't have written a better dream. 